Hello beautiful souls, it's Karen here at Somatic Magic Inspirations and a couple of things been going on in my life recently and today I woke up uh, with the message to do this reading so or message if you like so it's one of my and just to chat about so today we're doing find, just a chat about finding balance light versus dark okay so that you know within us all there is the light and the dark i just want to thank you all for watching my videos thank you for subscribing if you're new how welcome please like share subscribe comment down below um, check out my other channel star child tarot and my deck shop so i'm just doing some reading recently about carl jung and he's talking about the shadow side. So I just want to go over some things that I found out. Um, he was a Swiss psychiatrist, psychologist. Um, I've not studied. This is just my own viewpoint. Um, this is my opinion. You, you don't have to agree with it or disagree. It's just a comment, uh, commentary on how I see things right now for myself and the world, really. So basically, we all have a shadow side. And when it's not in the consciousness of a person, when we're not aware of it and we try and suppress it, in other words, it becomes blacker and repressed. And then when it's repressed, this shadow side can come out in sudden moments of unawareness. So there is the personal shadow, which has our unknown, unknown dark side of our personality and the collective shadow, which is the unknown dark side of society. Our personal shadow side is the unpleasant qualities we hide from ourselves, in the inferior, inferiorities which we do, do not want to know or to recognise because they seem weak or socially unacceptable, even evil. The shadow is most visible when in anxiety or other strong emotions and especially if under the influence of alcohol or drugs. And we see this in society all the time, you know, when people change after having a lot to drink or doing drugs. It's like that mask slips and we say and do things that we repress other times or things we wouldn't normally do. It's important to become aware of our shadow. By exploring our shadow can give us access to many positive qualities. The shadow has good qualities such as instincts, appropriate reactions, insights and creative impulses. The shadow part of us becomes hostile when it's ignored or misunderstood. The shadow side has strengths, potentials. If not explored it can inhibit our growth as a person. For example, you might believe that being assertive is being rude or aggressive and then you lose these qualities, the qualities of confidence and of being able to speak up for yourself in an honest, respectful way. And you may find it difficult to ask for what you know you deserve, such as a pay rise in your job or better work conditions. Or in a relationship, asking for what you want and having healthier boundaries. So when you meet an assertive person, deep down you might resent them, feel guilty, as you do not own these qualities, or you suppress them. And this makes your shadow blacker and denser. Because these aspects of yourself should not be repressed. This is all about our ego. And it's important to look at the contents of our shadow side and to integrate them into our personality through shadow work. What are your emotional reactions to others? Be honest about the interactions. Explore your dreams. What are, your, what are you dreaming about? What are the signs, the symbols in your dreams? When we bring the darkness to light, you become enlightened. There can be no light without shadow. The dark aspect. Nobody is perfect. 
but becoming whole in our personality by recognising that shadow aspect creates a balance between our conscious and unconscious self. This can be scary to confront our shadow, but it can bring relief and discernment. Explore your self-beliefs, your limitations and possibilities. The shadow can also include aspects of our outside of ourself. The collective shadow, the dark or unknown aspects of our society. The collective shadow is a huge multi-dimensional aspect of our life and the harm we inflict on each other and our planet. The collective shadow can be talking about inferiority, violence, oppression, suffering and denial of any responsibility. The collective shadow is acted out in wars, massacres, genocides, persecution, sickness, poverty, alcoholism, crime, etc. This can all manifest inwardly on each person as self-hatred, hatred of own culture, depression or impotence, wanting revenge. The collective shadow is labelled evil and in the Christian world the devil. Someone who is possessed by the devil loses a human quality and becomes demonic. It's up to ourselves to know how much good we can do and what crimes you are capable of. It is important we all take responsibility, morally, politically, spiritually, for ourselves. If we can have the courage to be in our own darkness, it frees others from carrying it for us, such as wars, holocaust, oppression. It can be painful to speak of these past atrocities, but the pain and outrage and betrayal and the suffering needs to be voiced and heard whether on a global level or an individual level. An example of this in the, in the global stage was the mass psychosis in Nazi, Nazi Germany. So it is important that we address our own shadow. We learn from the past and, are, and avoid repeating the same horrors again and again. The courage of bearing our own darkness brings relief to others. If we deny or dismiss our shadow, it can then grow blacker and history can repeat itself again. So in the recent years, I've been doing a lot of shadow work and I've been triggered by experiences in my own life and difficult situations with my family and friends and on the global stage. And it's come to my conscious awareness of the collective shadow, the dark part of society, of which we all play a part. I wanted to share this, some things have come to my consciousness, and I'm not going into the details, but there is a very, very dark aspect to this world, darker than I realised, I guess. And I feel it's important that we do work on ourselves, to acknowledge these aspects of ourselves so that we shine the light on it to find the positive attributes within that and no one is perfect i feel it's finding that balance within ourselves because if we continue to deny our shadow it becomes blacker larger until we become engulfed by our own denial and then we act out negative behaviors and words For me, it all comes back to love. Having that unconditional self-love and being in that love, that unconditional love for others. Because we all have aspects within us of good, of bad, whatever you want to call it, dark, light, positive, negative. And if we try and ignore these aspects of ourselves, they find a way of coming out in a negative way. And it's acknowledging that within ourselves, acknowledging the truth of who we truly are, the balance between dark and light, and shining that light on those darker aspects of ourselves that we all have. And when we try and ignore it 
and and just deny that it's even there it becomes worse and we need to acknowledge that we all have good and, and bad aspects and humanity has shown that we're capable of extreme evil and extreme good yeah and it can seem very black and white but it's about coming into balance in ourselves balancing out those energies the positive and the negative within us to find in what works for us as a person to acknowledge the whole aspect of who we are so i got a bit deep there so <laughs> if it resonates for you you know leave me a comment um so i want to end off with doing a reading so i've got two piles here so we're going to look at some dark aspects some you know things in the shadow maybe you need to work on and some lighter messages at the end so pile one and pile two so pick your pile so let's get some messages for you so obviously this is a general reading so just take what resonates so we've got failure i understand that mistake is only an opportunity to learn so sometimes we can really be hard on ourselves if we have failure if we are we feel a failure or we fail at things but even the most successful people have failed their way to success and it's part of the journey and you shouldn't beat yourself up about that because we're all learning all the time and a failure just one more failure just gets you closer to you know achieving your goal so don't be hard on yourself and we've got denial i acknowledge my fear but i replace it with the insight of awareness so like i was saying we very often deny that aspect of ourselves that shadow aspect those negative traits that we have, those things that we're not proud of. And, you know, go within and shine a light on those aspects. Do not deny those aspects. Shine a light to gain insight, to gain awareness of those aspects of yourself and do that work. And we've got courage. Yes, it takes courage. I find the inner strength to face fear with confidence. It takes courage to do this to look at this to be in that shadow to go through that dark night of the soul to look at the darker aspects of your personality it takes courage but by doing this you will really come into that balance which we need right now so we've got abandoned loss heartache over someone close so some of you could be grieving you could be going through a grief process you know this could be actual somebody has passed away or a lost relationship you know these could be issues going back to childhood and again you know there's a need for healing here to to heal this within yourself to heal these abandonment wounds to heal this heartache to heal you know that feeling of loss but to also acknowledge how you're feeling you know acknowledge that and then do the work you know to heal these aspects and you know acknowledge your feelings you know work work through your feelings and we've got overwhelmed everything has got on top of me not coping so maybe taking on too much in your life maybe not having firm boundaries in place to respect yourself to say no um to people that are asking you to do things that you you haven't got the time or energy to do and it's respecting yourself and your boundaries so that you don't get into this feeling of feeling overwhelmed. OK, and honouring yourself to, to take that time out, to give yourself that space and that permission to say no if you need to. OK, and acknowledge that you do feel this way. And again, acknowledge your feelings and, you know, have those boundaries, respect your own energy. We've got inner child healing needed at this time. So again, a lot of us have had inner child wounding. You know, if you've had a difficult child, whatever happened in your childhood, um, there's that saying, isn't there? We, we spend the rest of our life getting over our childhood. And I think it's so true for so many of us. So there's lots of things online you can do, um, inner child meditations or connecting with your guides and angels um there's videos online you know to talk you through this um 
you know, if you're feeling this way or you feel that you've got these wounds, you know, don't ignore it. Do that work on yourself. Give yourself permission to do that work, to heal these issues within you and to nurture and love your inner child the way that you weren't and to give yourself permission to be in that fun, playful, light-hearted energy that maybe you couldn't as a child, okay? We've got narcissism. They think they're always right. You are always wrong. So some of you could have elements of narcissistic behaviours or you've dealt with people in these energies. And again, you know, it's usually because something has happened that's caused this to come out, you know, this darker aspect of a person. Um, and again, it's healing, you know, and having that awareness as well. And if you're dealing with somebody in these energies, it's not your fault. Obviously, they have their own issues that they're dealing with here. Okay, but don't let their attitudes and behaviours affect you. Do not put up with that sort of behaviour. And if you think you're acting in this way, maybe these are some of your shadow aspects that you need to look at and, and do that healing on that. So we've got finger pointing. So to me, that's like blame mentality. Are you blaming others for the way you're feeling? Are you pointing the finger at others? Are you not taking responsibility for how you're feeling or where you are in life? Okay, so maybe that's something you need to look at. We've got guarded heart here. So again, that could link in maybe to a past relationship or in a child your your um child work in a child work okay guarded heart abandonment issues you know breakups okay and again maybe you need to do some work on that work on your heart chakra to open up to love because as, as i say i feel the answer is always love that self-love okay it always starts with us and we've got immature so you know, maybe this is you or you're dealing with people that you feel are immature. Um, again, it takes effort to look at this. Are you acting in an immature way? Are you acting in an immature, childish way um, to do with your emotions, your relationships? And again, maybe you need to look at that aspect. We've got restoring balance. So I think that you are open to this, as I said you know, we're talking about the balance, okay, the balance between the dark and the light. And I feel that you want to work on this. So, you know, do that in a work, go into your shadow side, do that healing, whatever you feel drawn to do, to restore that balance within yourself, to be who you truly are. And we've got healing, yeah, so definitely I feel there is a need for healing here. Okay, so maybe time to go and see a healer. Or there's lots of healing meditations online that you can do. Um, work with crystals. Um, see a Reiki healer. Um, maybe sound healing. You know, whatever you feel drawn to. But don't neglect your own healing. So we've got fragmented. So yeah, you're, you know, you're feeling fragmented in some way. And this could be because you need to do that. Look at that shadow aspect of yourself. Um, if you're always being in the positive energy and not dealing with the darker aspects or issues going on within you, you're feeling fragmented. You're feeling in two, maybe, two parts of the same. And again, it's talking to me that you need healing. There's healing that you need to do and look at that shadow aspect um, and acknowledge that aspect and shine the light on that. And do the work on yourself. Yeah, we've got childlike again. So immature energy again. And it could be, you know, a lot of it could be to do with inner child healing that needs to happen. You know, maybe you got stuck in that energy because you, you know, for whatever reason, the life you had, it kept you stuck in that immature energy. So again, something to look at, okay? You know, go within yourself to look at those aspects. And we've got focus. So, yeah, time to focus, you know, really do a, di a deep dive into yourself, you know, really go within, you know, meditate on it. 
you know, maybe do some writing, journaling, you know, whatever works for you. Really focus on this. Um, healing those wounded aspects of yourself, looking at those shadow aspects, shining the light on those aspects. So we've got star mother energy. How can you mother yourself? So again, it's talking about child, child, inner child, wounding. So yes, you need to parent yourself, some of you. How can you mother yourself? So maybe you didn't have that loving nurturing from your own mum. Maybe you didn't have a mum, you know, for whatever reason. But it's time to give yourself that nurturing, that compassion, that love that a mother would have done. Mother yourself. Okay, give yourself that permission to have that love, that nurturing that you never received as a child. And this could be very healing for you. We've got mirror. Who or what is triggering you? So, you know, you could be triggered... Okay, there could be, you know, as I said to you, things in my life, people, situations, certainly triggered me to look at myself and go within. So what is triggering you right now? So, you know, when you have a, a reaction to something or someone, there's a reason for that. It's something that needs work, that needs healing. Look at that. Look at that aspect of yourself. We've got trust the niggle. What is niggling? What is the niggling feeling trying to tell you? So again, there is something. We've got dark clouds there in the background. So you could be in a feeling in a dark place right now. I mean, there's a lot of fear and negativity in the world, and it can affect us. Um, so what is that feeling within you? What is your intuition telling you right now that you need to work on to do that healing? I feel feel there is some healing that you need to do, and clear away those dark clouds away from you. But first of all, we need to look at that, okay? Don't be afraid to look at that darker aspect, to shine the light on it, okay? And acknowledge that's part of who you are. Birth in a new age, birth in new creations, dreaming a new world into being. So this is beautiful energy. So, you know, set your intentions, your manifestations. We're all working on creating the new age, the new way of being, the new world, what is your vision for that? What? How do you see the new world? What do you want to see in the world for you? What What would your new world be like? And you can create this with your intentions, with your manifestations. So, you know, sending out those beautiful positive visualizations and focus on the positive to bring that into being. Break the chain, ancestral patterns, healing, rewriting the future. Yeah, so I do feel that those of you that chose this pile, a lot of your behaviours, patterns are ancestral because things do come through the DNA um, from our ancestors. You know, if somebody had an addiction or a certain type of behaviour, I do believe those things come through, OK? And it may be nothing to do with you, but it's come down the chain, and it's time to break that chain. And if you can do that work and be brave enough to do that work, to do that healing, you can change the future for your lineage of people coming after you and for yourself now. So break the chain, break the patterns of those negative patterns and thoughts and behaviours. Building your world, creation, expansion, networking. So definitely talking about the new world again. So you can help create this. You can create this expansion. Connect with others. What is their vision, your vision? Building the world together. You know, world meditations, group group visualizations will really help transform this world into what we want it to, to truly be. And we've got idyllic times, the garden paradise. So some of you could really connect with nature. And there, there may be a place that you go or you're going to find a place that you go in nature that's going to be very healing. And for some of you, it could be a garden. Maybe you want to have a garden and do gardening and create your own garden. You know, this could be plants, flowers or even vegetables. And this could be very healing and therapeutic for you. We've got sacred breath and sound, life force and communication. Look at the beautiful dolphin. 
So I did mention it earlier. I think sound healing, okay, and maybe um, breath work with meditation could really help you to heal these issues, to really give your life force a boost. And maybe there's communication here with dolphins. Maybe they're, you know, the noises they make. Maybe you could get some meditation tapes with that sound on. Um, I do feel they're giving us information. And any sound work could help. You know, singing bowls, um, sound baths, drumming. Any sound work could be really healing um, to really help you at this time to break through those patterns of behavior and really help heal your energy and we've got harvest gathering of blessings so you've got blessings coming in here you do this work we've got two power numbers but uh where's it gone three 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 and four four there so look those up but yeah there's some beautiful blessings coming in for you there's going to be a harvest of blessings coming in for you here so beautiful. So this is my new deck, one of my new decks. It's called the Healing Heart Oracle. So some final messages for you. So do not be afraid to be vulnerable. Yeah, do not be afraid to be vulnerable. And that starts with yourself. You know, be vulnerable with yourself. Be honest with yourself about what it is that you want for yourself. And be grateful for what you do have. Count your blessings. So as I said, it looks like you're going to have lots of blessings coming in. And the more we can show gratitude for what we do have, that helps to attract in more to be grateful for. And clear away negativity using sage and incense. So again, we have the sound clearing, sound energy healing. And this is clearing away dark, dense energies. So use sage, incense, again you can use sound to clear spaces, your energy. So do this clearing and cleansing work on yourself and that will really help lift your energy I feel. So there are your messages part one, so let's look at part two. So we've got grief. I understand that losing something is an opportunity to appreciate it. So most people in this lifetime will experience some form of grief. And, you know, we lose people. Um, it can be through death, obviously. It can be through a breakup of a relationship. Um, this could be to do with, you know, any loss. And, you know, it's something we all have to work through. And it's one of those biggest lessons. And when we lose somebody or something, it it really makes us appreciate what we did have. So I, I feel, you know, it's really much living in that moment, living in that now, appreciating who we have in our life and what we have in our life. You know, because you never know what's going to happen. And we've got pride. I love myself and I see myself and everyone. So, you know, a negative aspect of pride is like the ego self, um, you know, having that ego, letting the ego dictate us. But this is being in that energy of self-love, as I said. Being that energy of self-love and love others as you love yourself. Being that beautiful energy. And this is solar plexus energy here. So being that energy of self-worth, self-esteem. Proud of who you are, but not in a negative way. And we've got acceptance. I'm learning to accept the things I cannot change. So... You know, there are things in life that we cannot change and some things about ourselves we cannot change. So we need to be in that energy of acceptance. As I said, the dark and light within us, we all have those aspects and we have things about us that we may not be particularly proud or, or, or for, you know, may see it as a negative aspect. But we are, you know, imperfect beings. Nobody is perfect. So be in that energy of acceptance of things that you cannot change. And we've got empathy. I'm open to seeing both sides of a situation. So, you know, being in that empathy for yourself, for others, being open, not judging, being non-judgmental, just having that understanding for people and yourself going through difficult times. So we've got addictions here. Drink, drugs, sex, gambling, codependency. So some of you could be dealing with these or have been dealing with these sort of issues and very common issues in this society today. 
And, you know, you have to be ready. You have to be willing to deal with these issues. And I know it's not easy. I have a, a son that struggles with things like this. So it it's not always easy. And until you're ready to admit that you want to heal this and, and deal with this and work on this, nobody, doesn't matter what people say, you have to be ready. And then once you're ready, seek the help. Okay, seek help wherever you can and, and do the work. And, you know, we all have problems at times, so don't beat yourself up about it. We've got skeletons in the closet, hidden in your subconscious, fears, desires, needs. So, you know, what we were talking about, those shadow aspects of ourselves, things about yourself you may not like or want to admit to, um, certain fears certain desires, certain needs, but we need to shine a light on that. That's an aspect of yourself. You know, if you try and deny it or, you know, ignore it, they those aspects can get darker and, and more shadowy. And that's when bad things can happen, you know, because we act out. And it's about shining the light on those aspects of yourself, okay? being Having that self-awareness. We've got not listening, selective listening, only hears what they want to hear. So again, you know, this is somebody closed off here, um, not wanting to see the truth, not wanting to listen, um, thinks they're right about everything. If if somebody says something they don't agree with, they don't want to know. And, you know, it's a shadow aspect. Obviously, look at that aspect of yourself. It's, it's being closed-minded. It's not being open-minded. Um, you know choosing not to see the truth of something as we said only hearing what you want to so not filtering out things to like i don't know lighten it up when it when it's something that needs to be looked at so again you know look at those aspects if that applies to you and we've got rage pent up anger needing to release so you know again some people hold on to that anger Okay, we've got rage here, anger, you know, and again, it, it can come out, you know, it's part of our shadow aspect, it can come out in a very negative way because it needs to release. So if you're in awareness that you have anger within you, you know, it's perfectly fine. It's one of the emotions that we do have. You need to release it in a safe way and acknowledge that you're feeling that and release it in a safe way so that it doesn't hurt yourself or others. But don't hold on to these feelings. You need to release it and let it go and move on. Yeah, we've got holding on tight to a lost love, a situation, a lack of trust. So, again, some of you may have been through a breakup situation that you didn't want to happen. And you're trying to hold on to it. You're, you're lacking trust that you will be okay. You're lacking trust that you'll find love again. Um, maybe lacking trust in yourself, in your judgments, in your decisions. And, and clinging on to the past, clinging on to past patterns and behaviours. And again, you need to let this go. You need to let this person go, to let yourself go, to allow yourself to grieve this loss and move through those feelings, okay? We've got release, letting go of the past, mistakes, pain, burdens, cutting cords. So again, that follows on from that. So it's time to release, okay, let go of the past, let go of your mistakes, the pain, the burdens, cut cords with people, places, situations. Use Archangel Michael to help you cut cords. You know, journal your feelings. But you need to find a way to release and move forward and, and move past the past, as it were. And allow yourself the freedom to move on in life. We've got trapped by circumstances. So again, this is that stuck energy there. You know, this is choosing to remain stuck. You know, there's always a choice, okay? Um, people can blame other people or situations, but, you know, trapped by circumstances, you're, you're choosing to remain stuck for whatever reason and blaming others. So, again, this needs to be looked at, okay? You need to look at that in a, in a healthy way. And we've got tunnel vision. So, again, choosing not to see the wider picture, Looking at things from a very selective point of view, not seeing the wider aspect or the truth of something, just choosing to look at it in one way. So you need to open up and look at it from a wider perspective, whatever this is referring to for you. 
too many influences. So again, going back to that, um, trapped by circumstances. So, you know, you are a sovereign being, you are the person, this is your life. So you have the right to make the choices in your life about what you do, where you go, who you see, blah, blah, blah. So don't let other people influence you, okay? You can obviously listen to people, seek advice if you want to, but at the end of the day, it's your life and it's your decision. So don't let other people influence you. You are the one that knows and, and connecting with your own intuition. And we've got mirroring energy. So again, you know, this goes back, I think in part one, we have that triggering energy. So there could be a person in your life mirroring aspects of yourself back to you. Um, it could be negative or positive. So, you know, look at this. Look at what you need to work on. You know, whatever, whatever aspect this is, good or bad. And um, particularly if it's a bad aspect you feel, you know, what is this mirroring to you? What work do you need to do on the, on yourself? about maybe a negative aspect of yourself we've got feeling insecure so again you know it's a lack of self-worth a lack of self-esteem so <clears throat> you know again do some work on yourself get some healing you know write a journal um, write a personal blog you know get those feelings out why are you feeling insecure you know look at those aspects of yourself you know, go within, maybe get some counselling, you know, really do this work on yourself to heal these issues. And we've got too angry to respond. So again, we've got this anger issue here. So some of you could have some repressed anger. And again, it's about expressing that anger in a safe, healthy way. You know, punch a pillow, um, get a punch bag, um go for a run, do something physical, you know, allow that to move through those feelings and release those feelings and you'll feel so much better if you do. And we got intoxicated. So, you know, we had addictions earlier, so maybe you're using substances um, to numb your feelings, you know, drink, drugs, whatever it is for you. So you're not thinking straight, you know, we do this when we're upset, don't we? Or, you, you know, to get over a breakup or whatever it is. And maybe you need to do some healing on this to get clear in your head, to be clear and to stand your ground and take back your power. We've got psychic, you know too much. So some of you obviously could be very psychic, very highly intuitive, empathetic. So you pick up on people's feelings, emotions, the unspoken, and that can be a blessing and a curse at times. Because people say one thing to you, but you know, you know, you know the truth of it. Okay. So again, I feel it's talking about boundaries, having those boundaries in place, protecting your own energy. Maybe wear a cloak of protection. She's wearing a cloak there. Put a cloak of energetic protection around you to protect your energy from the lower vibrations and from any psychic attack. Okay. So we've got wolf in sheep's clothing. So this is talking about inauthenticity, you know. So you need to be your authentic self, okay. So be honest about who you are. Don't be afraid to be who you truly are, okay. We've got sharp. So you could have exchanged some sharp words with somebody. You could maybe be very blunt speaking. And maybe you've been hurtful to somebody. You've hurt somebody. And maybe you regret that or or it's part of your shadow aspect. Maybe you bottled up feelings like we had a lot of rage or anger in this pile. Maybe you bottled up feelings so it came out in a very sharp, angry way, um, not the way you wanted to. So maybe this is an aspect of yourself that you need to heal. You know, look at that aspect about really releasing these feelings of anger in a safe way. We've got maze of confusion. So, yeah, you may be feeling confused right now, um, especially if you're intoxicated or have addiction issues, you're not seeing clearly, you're not thinking clearly, maybe your intuition is closed off, you're, you're not feeling it. So, again, you know, time for reflection, time to go within, to heal these issues, get clarity, you know, don't make any major decisions until you clear this confusion energy. 
Yeah, we've got Tranquil. So I feel that you're going to be coming into a much more peaceful time if you do this healing and, and work on yourself, this self-reflection. You're going to be coming into a much more peaceful period of your life, a much more tranquil period of your life. And this will really help you get more in touch with your intuition. We've got play, playful, flirtatious energy. So yeah, get into this. Again, this is a higher vibration energy to be playful, to be flirtatious, to be in that light-hearted energy. You know, try not to get too serious about anything. Be in that light-hearted light energy. And it will really help, you know, to you in your life to move forward in a more positive way. So let's get your final messages. So we've got star seed. what lights you up. So some of you could resonate at star seeds. And you're here on a mission and a lot of you could be living your mission. So find what lights you up. If you've been going through a particularly difficult time, what is it that lights you up? Makes you feel brighter. Um, you know, after being in the dark, you know, working on your shadow aspects. Look at the lighter side. Balance that out, the dark and the light. You know, work in the light energies to balance that out. And we've got you're already doing it. Stop overthinking. Keep facing your true north. So... You know, if you're questioning, are you on the right path? Are you doing the right thing? Are you going in the right direction? You know, your guys and angels want you to know you're already doing it. So don't worry, just keep moving forward. So that's beautiful conf uh, confirmation. And we've got the Age of Light. You've been training for this for lifetimes. And she's got this pyramided light around her, like an auric field, a protective shield. So as I said earlier, maybe work on producing one of these like a Merkaba as well, energy around you to protect your own energies, to protect yourself from psychic attack, dark energies from outside, and to be in the light, to spread that light, which is what you're here to do. And we've got align your life. What is not aligned or needs to change? So, yeah, come into alignment with yourself, you know, do that inner work, work on yourself, meditate, journal, you know, what is it that needs to change in your life if you're feeling a bit out of sorts, out of alignment? You know, do that work on yourself to come back into alignment. And we've got leap. You go first and the universe will catch you. So yes, it's time to take a leap of faith. The universe will catch you, but they need you to take that leap of faith forward in your life and they will be there to catch you. The universe will have your back. So don't be afraid of taking that leap. We've got loss and lack, fear, victimisation. So again, there's been a lot of fear in the world. You could have been feeling a lot of the fear. Maybe you felt victimised in some way in your life, um, feeling that loss, that lack in your life. So again, these are issues that need healing. So do that work on yourself to heal these this mentality within you. We've got shamanic journey, purpose, attunement, vision quest. So maybe some of you are shamans or you're um, interested in learning to be a shaman and you will find your purpose this way, your attunement and your quest this way, working with nature, working with the elements at this time. And we've got portal, infinite mind, awakening consciousness. So yeah, your mind is infinite, your knowledge is infinite. You're awakening, your consciousness is awakening at this time. And there are many energetic portals around us, um, astrologically as well as on the planet. And maybe you are going to become into more awareness about these portals. Maybe this is something significant for some of you there. And we've got courage, strength, fierceness and family. Wow, I love the image on that. So this is like the strength card in the tarot. You know, that lion energy, that fire energy. So you have the courage, you have the strength, you have that fearness, fierceness like that warrior energy to move forward in your life and to find your soul family, your soul group. Um, and this is what I feel a lot of you are being called to do right now. So that's beautiful. So this final message is of my new deck, which is called the Healing Heart Oracle. So know you deserve to manifest your desires. So you deserve all good in your life there. 
and receive healing from a healer in person or distance healing so <coughs> that has come up a lot so and again this is the color green of the heart chakra so in particular could be your heart chakra okay i don't know why the, the camera's going in and out there so your final message be your authentic self so i think i said that earlier don't be afraid to be your authentic self in this life we need people to be their authentic self and then you know you have that courage of conviction and people trust that you know people can see if you're being fake so they will trust that if you have the you know the bravery to be your authentic self no matter what other people think of you you're just being you and that's a good thing to be so love and blessings i hope this resonated take care bye for now